In 2003 and 2005 BAE Systems received contracts to upgrade a total of 26 South African Oliphant MK.1B main battle tanks to the Oliphant MK.2 standard. The MK.2 uses a number of components, previously developed for the TTD. First vehicles were scheduled for delivery in 2006 to 2007. The Oliphant MK.2 MBT is better protected than the previous vehicle. It is completed with modular armor packages. Elements of such armor can be easily replaced if damaged or when more advanced armor is available. Prototype had a wedge-shaped front turret armor, similar to that of the German Leopard 2A5. The Oliphant MK2 tank is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm rifled gun. This gun is loaded manually and fires all standard NATO 105mm ammunition. Ammunition is stored in the turret bustle, but it does not have blow-off panels. It was proposed with a 120mm smoothbore gun, but these plans were later abandoned. This MBT is undergunned by modern standards, however is is capable of disabling any encountered opposing tank in Africa. The Oliphant MK2 has an upgraded fire control system, which tracks a moving target automatically. This MBT also received new target detection and engagement systems. Vehicle has all-weather, day and night fighting capability. This main battle tank can engage moving targets, while on the move. Secondary armament consists two 7.62mm machine guns. One of them is coaxially mounted with the main gun, while another is placed on top of the roof. The Oliphant MK.2 main battle tank has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. Vehicle is powered by a Continental diesel engine, developing 1040 HP, which remains unchanged from the Oliphant MK.1B, but slightly uprated. These engines were US built and acquired from Israel. The MK.2 uses refurbished and upgraded chassis of the MK.1B, 